Hello Edusplorer, thanks for joining us and welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at Edusplorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you had some time to check our previous videos. If you haven't done so, we will encourage you to do so. Today we shall be reviewing countries with the biggest public debt. By the end of this video, you will find out how these countries got to this particular position and we will be able to shine a light onto these particular nations on the reason why these nations having the world's biggest public debt. Without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. Japan, Sudan, we are talking about the Republic of Sudan and Greece have the highest level of national debt worldwide compared to their GDP landing. This landing them into somewhat risky economic position. In 2019, the US ranked 13th globally for its public debt compared to its GDP, owing just over 22 billion in US dollars, but that is predicted to rise to almost 30 billion in 2024. The public debt can enable a country invest in better future, but too much can cripple it totally. Just like individuals, countries can have lots of extra cash for spending, not as a result, or be landed with debt. Owing debt doesn't necessarily mean that a country or a person is unsuccessful. It just means they have had to or choose to take some monetary risk to reach their goals of success. In fact, some experts say a bit of debt is a good thing to have. Too much, however, can be crippling on both a person's and a national level. National debt or public debt is amount of money a government owes to others. Those creditors can include other countries, institutions like the World Bank and International Monetary Fund, and creditors within its own country, which are called domestic creditors and can often be businesses. It is important to note that not all countries calculate their public debt in the same way. Some include the debts owned by lower level of governments within the country, such as provinces, states or municipalities. Others only consider federal level of debt in order to ensure that you are making a fair comparison with regards to our assessment, you must be comparing countries uh, that calculate their national debt in the same way. Is national debt the same as external debt is a question we're looking at. This sounds similar, but are actually different. National or public debt is something that owned by a country's government, whereas external debt is that owned by the government to foreign creditors and by the private sector. We're talking about businesses in this case. If you are new to our channel, we encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. A nation's public debt is often compared to its gross domestic product. This can give investors an idea of how likely the country is to be able to pay off its national debt. Gross domestic product, which is also normally known pronounced as a GDP, is the value of goods and services produced and provided in a country throughout one year. Taking on public debt can be good for a country as it can provide funding for economic growth and better life. Money obtained through public debt can help a country build reliable roads and infrastructures, investments in this country, and also investment in education, and even contribute to its old age pension funds. Those ways, public debt can be a good thing to have, but it does have its downside. As we've mentioned, the following countries, Japan, Sudan, and Greece, had the highest public debt in relation to their GDP. We should just go straight into reviewing these particular nations at the moment. Number one, Japan, 237.6%. In 2017, for example, Japan owed about 11.7 trillion US in national debt. This country also has a huge GDP, which is about 4.97 trillion in US dollars as a result of 2018 and one of the largest economies on the planet. One of the reasons the country has a high amount of debt is that it currently imports more than its exports in terms of monetary value. Most of Japan's imports come from the US and China, and this imbalance is the value causes a trade deficit. 
the global financial crisis of 2017 or to 2007 and 2009 going to 2010 also put stress on the Japanese economy, causing it to become unstable. All things considered true, this nation could still fare well. It has kept its inflation rate down, employment up, and its GDP is expected to continue to grow in the next 10 years. Number 2. Sudan, 207%. Sudan's national debt sat at about 64 billion US dollars in 2018, well below Japan's yet still very high. Unfortunately, expert predicts it will rise to a whopping 1.276 billion US dollars by 2024. The Republic of Sudan has had its fair share of troubles, including civil wars in 2014 2013 and a massive loss of oil revenue, which has both rockets its economy. Oil export once accounted for about 95% of the country's export, but the war damaged oil infrastructures, reducing the ability to export it. The global oil prices slump in 2015 2016, pushing that up to 2017 and 2018, also had a large effect on the Sudanese economy. Number 3 Greece. 176.6%. Greece is no stranger to debts. In the last decade, the country has maintained a relatively high yet steady amount of uh, national debt. It is predicted that by 2024, Greece's debt will sit at the amount of 373 billion US dollars, just slightly higher than where it is today at 370 billion US dollars. Greece's national debt will likely decrease slowly over time, but some of this depends on whether or not it chooses to stay within the European Union. During the 1950s through the 1970s, as we look into that, Greece's economy was a very big boom then. The, the, Greek, the Great Recession from 2007 to uh, 2009, as well as the Euro crisis and Greece's own debt crisis, have hit it very, very hard. The European Union gave Greece large economic bailout packages uh, to save it economically in recent years. Poor governance and unnecessary spending have overwhelmed the nation's GDP, landing it where it is today. If you are new to our channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. There are of course lots of drawbacks with regards to public debt. As we've earlier mentioned, some debt is good debt. Too much at national level can damage the reputation of a country and make it difficult for the nation to obtain more credits in the future. However, when a country has an enormous amount of debt, it can pose a threat to the stability of international trade and finance. The coronavirus pandemic has crippled economies around the world. As business came to a halt with national lockdown measures, it remains to be seen if most nations will bounce back easily to where they stood before in the global economic ranking or if some have slapped beyond repairs. Hopefully this will not be the case in most of the countries. As we have seen that the coronavirus has had huge impact, we are looking forward to seeing those countries that would emerge in these challenging times. Hopefully, we've informed you with regards to uh, the countries with the highest national debt in the world. That has been Japan, the Republic of Sudan, and also Greece. If you feel there is a country that has found itself in a challenging position as regards to uh, highest national debt, we would like to, um, to hear from you. Oh, we are talking about the public debt here. Otherwise, I want to thank you for joining us. We are looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode. If you find our content on our channel informative and also educational, we would ask you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. For now, thanks very much and we're looking forward to meeting you soon. Bye-bye.